Hi, my name is Evan Short, and I'm the chief nerd for the Mercedes-AMG Patronus F1 team. I run the Trackside Electronics team, and that consists of engineers from the Sparkies, who are the electronics technicians on the cars, all the way through to the systems engineers who are responsible for the hydraulic and uh, sensor systems on the cars, and right through to the control systems engineers who manage the driver interface and all the complicated electrical systems on the car. We're an operational team. We run primarily at the race weekends and really involved in every part of the car. I'm from Ottawa in Canada, and I studied electrical engineering. My last job in F1 before coming to the team was with Ferrari, where I was for about a decade doing a variety of roles. Trackside Electronics brings performance to the team in two fundamental ways. One is that during a race weekend or a test event, we're directly tuning the car, so we're working on the tuning of the gear shift, we're working on the driver race starts, we're working on all the systems of the car. But two, and perhaps more importantly, is we're gathering data and bringing information back to the really dedicated crew of electronics and controls folks that we have back in the factory and bringing that information back to them allows them to close the loop and bring performance to the car at the next events as well. Day-to-day -day is divided up into two main areas. I'm either working in the factory, in which case we're feeding back information from the last event and making sure that that crew of electronics and controls folks in the factory know what's happening and know what we can improve for the next event. Or on the other side, we're actually at the race weekend. We're managing problems and we're handling the tuning of the car uh, over the course of a session. Some weekends are busier than others, but there's always something interesting. The most challenging element of my role is the fact that the car is a complex beast. A modern F1 car has electrical and control systems that would have been unheard of when I started in the sport. And what that means is when something does go wrong, the tight timescales of F1 mean it's very difficult to know where to jump in and start looking for the problem. My favorite part of the job is problem solving. Things are different every weekend, and I think the most enjoyable part of our role at the track is jumping in when things go wrong and resolving them. Of course, we're very involved in making sure the problems don't happen in the first place. Trackside electronics get involved in all sorts of elements of the car, anything from the really low level operation of the hydraulic systems like the gearbox, through to the driver interface and the way we make the steering wheel and the rest of the car react to exactly what the driver wants it to do through to things like the telemetry system and voice radio with which we communicate. One of the fun elements of being at the track is that it's different every week. Sometimes that means great things like standing under the podium celebrating, but at times things go wrong. I had a terrible experience standing on the grid watching one of our drivers unable to put the car in first gear while the other cars pulled away. And there's no feeling like that. You don't want to be the person who's led the team down. So that pressure is always there. Trackside Electronics is an operational group, but of course we're just the tip of a pretty big iceberg, and that's folks uh, back at the factory, a group of really dedicated engineers who make up a really nice mix between experienced engineers who've been in F1 for decades and really young and enthusiastic folks who are joining us in developing new parts of the car. This is my 14th season with the team. I still think of myself as one of the newer engineers. One of the great strengths of our team is that consistency. 